Hello, I'm Neil Whelan, and welcome to the Wesleyan Podcast. In this edition, Simon Appleyard, one of Wesleyan Financial Services Regional Managers, and Julia Blakiston, a Specialist Financial Advisor for Medical Customers, get together to talk about why financial planning is so important. That may seem an obvious point to make for a financial services company, but believe me, there are things in here that you may not have thought about when it comes to looking after your finances, so it's well worth a listen. Having said that though, this podcast is just for information purposes only and doesn't constitute financial advice. So if there are things you hear that you'd like more information on, do speak to a financial advisor and I'll return at the end to let you know how you can do exactly that with us. But until then, here's Julia and first up, Simon. Okay, so um, it's a great opportunity to talk about the importance of financial planning. Um, so let's start with just a simple question really. Uh, what, what is the benefit of financial planning? Um, Well, Simon, one of the main benefits of financial planning is that it prompts you to list the goals that you have for the future. Um, It enables you to prioritise and I clearly identify those financial goals so that you can make important financial decisions that could impact your life. So it acts as a guide through the different stages of your life journey. Everyone's financial goals are different. But whether you're looking for help with savings and investments, mortgages, income protection, plans or pensions, it's really important that you have a goal that would help you really make the most of your money. I guess that that makes uh, real sense, doesn't it? Because if Mm. if you don't know what you're trying to achieve, um, how do you know you're getting there? Um, So so I I guess identifying those financial goals um, is is really important. So how, how do you start that process? Well, this is where um, myself as a Spanish uh, specialist financial advisor can help. So um, we can work with you and with our clients to put together a financial plan for the short, medium and the long term. So first, we would analyse your current financial situation. So get a snapshot of where you are now to build really a clear picture of where where things are at this point in time. Then we would help you identify and define any goals that you have and you, and responsibilities. The next step would be to look at how you might achieve these considering your personal circumstances and needs and then develop a tailored plan to achieve these goals and set out a specific action that you need to take. And finally, as an advisor, I'd remind you regularly to review your plans and keep them up to date as your circumstances and preferences may well change over time. So the thing is, as you said earlier, Simon, if you go off course, you have a goal, you might drift, something might, life changes, doesn't it? Things happen in life. But my job is really to keep you on track. No, that's a, that's, that makes sense. I, you know, I, I think uh, the idea that everybody has a strategy for their money um, based upon what they actually want to achieve is really, really important. And you're right, things change over time all, all, all the time. Um, mm. uh, not least, you know, I, I don't know about you, but the things that get added to my bucket list on a regular basis uh, are, are <laughs> significant. So it's always good to have uh, have that review. I, I, I get that. So, all right. So talk to us a little bit then about, um, you know, w- w- what do you see as the, the main financial needs that people need to think about? I think first and foremost, when sort of looking at where you are right now, the first thing is to start building up those emergency funds, start saving. If you have got if you haven't got a reserve there, um, look at that and sort of make sure that you you can build towards getting that necessary emergency fund um, in place. And really, and truly, the first thing where we start in terms of our model as advisors, what we tend to follow is something called PIPSI. And the first on the list, P, is protection. So financial protection is is a first priority. So proactively protecting your finance finances is a key consideration when it comes to financial planning and it can help you secure your financial future for your family. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of people think that their savings or their employer's sick pay will cover that, but they may end up being unable to work for longer than these funds will pay out. Um, This deficit of income can cause a lot of unease and financial concern, which is absolutely the last thing you need to be worrying about when you're ill. So depending on your requirements, this is where financial protection such as income protection, critical illness cover, life insurance can help you to manage your finances. It's that plan B, you know, all the good stuff we're saving for the future, all these your bucket list, Simon. But what if things go wrong? You know, you need a plan B in place. Yeah, and I I think that's that's 
really um, comes home when um, whenever I talk to uh, advisors and they talk about the uh, where they get job satisfaction, it's it's so often where some advice that they've given has meant that people when they're in distress haven't hadn't had to worry about their money because it's been taken care of. And I, and I think that's really, really valuable. Absolutely. You know, it's a key part of our job. And then, of course, sort of going on to other areas. Um, one of the, the, the a lot of the work that I do, of course, is around retirement planning and pensions, particularly in my role as a GP um, financial specialist, financial advisor. So whenever you're planning to retire, phased or otherwise, there's no better time than right now to start planning, preparing and protecting for your desired retirement. This will help you to live the type of lifestyle that you're aiming to, to live once you finish work. So remaining up to date on any changes that could affect your pension contributions, as well as the benefits you'll be entitled to once you access your pensions. This is essential. So for medical professionals, as an example, this will be the McLeod or age disc discrimination changes that have impacted on the pension, the annual and lifetime allowance tax charges, and these areas can be quite technical and there are a lot of variables to consider. So um, as specialist advisors, this is something that we have a big focus on and we can talk you through, through how these can affect you. Yeah, absolutely. And and again, what we, we both know from conversations we've we've had with, with clients, um, uh, particularly over the last couple of years, um, that that those changes are 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 significant and and um, need explaining. People need to understand what's going on because it, it you know it does have potential impacts on when people can retire and and what they're going to retire on. And I, I think you're right. The sooner you start thinking about where um, you, you want that that retirement journey to mm. start, the better. Um, and it, it's just it's just too important to uh, to leave to chance because because then you end up with um, having the retirement that your pot gives you as opposed to having the pot that feeds the retirement you really absolutely. want. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, the thing is, you th there are some little tweaks and there are some things that you can do along the way to be able to, to maximise your benefits. And that's something that, you know, may not impact you significantly now, you know, in terms of your finances, but later on down the line, those decisions that you make will have a big impact. So very important to look at that. And then, of course, um, savings and investments. Um, so, you know, if you found yourself spending less and saving more during the pandemic, um, you may be wondering how these funds could be invested to enable you to achieve your future aspirations, such as your dream retirement or just saving tax efficiently. There's a variety of options, such as um, individual savings accounts or ISAs. Typically, income earned through wages or interest is subject to income tax. However, of course, ISAs, they're a tax efficient way where you can keep all of the gain for yourself. Um, the options available within the world of investments are vast and varied and can be quite confusing to understand. Uh, products such as capital investments, bonds, buying a buy-to-let property, investments and stocks and shares, ISAs and so on and so forth. So part of our job is a a really educational piece of if you've never invested before, taking you through um, the, 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 the really the um, concepts of concepts of investment, understanding the level of risk you're prepared to take. Um, what are your end goals? The the, uh, the concept of risk and reward, um, all of those areas. So it's worth remembering that all investments do carry a certain degree of risk and there's no such thing as a risk free investment. And they can go up as well as down, meaning that you could get back less than you invest. And um, before making the decision to invest, it's important that you ensure that you're as informed as possible regarding investment types and any associated risks. And you can speak to a specialist financial advisor who will be able to talk you through all of these options and go through investment types that are aligned to the things that are most important to you and your loved ones. Yeah, again, that's really, really well put. Um, and I think that the key thing is, is as uh, you say there, um, everything's carry some level of risk, um, not least at the minute. People who've got all their money in cash savings are really Absolutely. struggling with in, in, in interest rates versus the, uh, the the fact that inflation is rampant and eating away at the value of those. Um, I, I kind of like to say that the, the best investment anyone can have is the one that behaves as they expect it. Uh, and I think that bit you said there about helping people understand what it's all about and understand how um, different investments work and the, the, the level of risk in, mm -hmm. involved 
really important because then you know what you've got and you can feel comfortable to to ride out uh, the more uncertain times as well as enjoy um the, the better times. so no, really, really good um so go on if you were to put in a nutshell then um why is it so important to get financial advice um yes really so so really whether you're looking to help with save looking for help around savings and investments or mortgages or income protection plans or pensions wherever you are on your journey you'll benefit from financial advice as it will provide you with the guidance you need to help make the most of your money. So at Wesleyan Financial Services, we can offer tailored financial advice for every stage of your career on savings and investments, income protection, understanding the NHS pension scheme and much more. And I think I think that that is is crucial. Um, because the NHS pension scheme particularly is such a complex area and it's the cornerstone of um, of anybody, uh, any medics um, financial planning, uh, understanding it, um, making sure that it, it, it fits in with everything that you want to achieve. You understand the wider benefits beyond the pension itself um, and and actually what, what a great scheme it actually is. Um, so, so I think that is that is crucial that you, you understand how that knits in amongst it, and that yeah, you, you've got you've got your goals lined up in terms of your career, your home, your family, your lifestyle, so that you've got the peace of mind that working with an advisor, you, you know, you've got an expert setting out your strategy, working your strategy for you, so that at the end of the day, you get to enjoy the things you want out of life. Um, I, I think, yeah, I, I think yeah. You, you're spot on with that. And that's our show for this week. Thank you to Simon and Julia. Now you've listened to that and think you do need help planning your finances, you can find us online at wesleyan.co.uk, where you can book a no-obligation appointment with one of the Wesleyan Financial Services Specialist Financial Advisors. You can also learn more about what we're up to across the usual social media channels. We're at Wesleyan on Twitter, and you can search for us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And if you've enjoyed what you've heard here, You can like and subscribe to this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Audible and Podbean. But that's it for now. So until next time, thanks for listening.